G'day everyone and welcome back to another video on the channel and in today's video we're going to be doing a voiceover for my own local footy game last game of the season versus my old club in South Bendigo here we are just warming up before the game we had our team photos so they're quite early before the game as you can see some of the boys in the background standing around having a good chat me sweet kick off the boot in the warm up had a few shots at goal obviously as a defender playing on the back flank as my preferred position this year and also last year I'm sort of getting used to the position as I used to play in the forward line so we had a bit of a chat amongst the group and then we head out onto our home deck to play my old side in the last game of the year. There's really no better way to finish off the season than play your old side. We have played them previously this year away from home and we got pumped by about 50 to 60 points, I imagine. We've only won one game this year against a two side in grading. So been a very difficult year as you can see here in the pack as a group getting a word from the skipper in Moose. We knew it was going to be a tough contest today, but we were certainly up for it. Last game of the year. Obviously, I know most of these blokes on the other side, so there is a bit of push and shove. My mate, Mitchie Reese, that's who I'm on. Been mates with him for years, and yeah, a really good mate of mine. So, yeah, he got off to a bit of a strange start. It was very inaccurate, as you can see here. I let my man get out the back. Mitchie Reese. He nearly got the soccer off the ground. Luckily for me, he didn't because that there's really no one else to blame but myself there. Let him get out the back, but that's all right. Obviously, me on the kickouts. I'm pretty sure I took majority of the kickouts in this game. I wasn't sure where to go, so I sort of just plonked it up into the pocket and then straight back to another kick out. There was a lot of points this game. At quarter time, there were no goals. So very inaccurate contest of footy on, not sure if this is the forward pocket or with the full forward. Got Garcia Mills to get on him and there was a kick back into the forward line. It was touched, got the chest mark, thinking maybe it was going to be paid. And then once again, let my mate run out the back again. And luckily for my sake, well, a bit of sledging, but Luckily he's shit, or else, yeah, he could have had two early goals. So, yeah, he's a bloody runner, and then I sort of chipped it into the pocket in a really dangerous position. Not sure what I was thinking. A bad, bad decision-making there for myself. Got a bit of a sip, just to refuel. There was a lot of running this game, and then, once again, another kick-out, which was just a real sloppy effort. So, not starting off well, and especially when there is so many points being scored, there's a lot of pressure on taking kick-outs. There's a lot that can go wrong and here there was just a little kick at the pack and I was there waiting covering space as there was no one and behind me too late to, I the to make this decision I saw Hunter our Ruckman sitting at centre half forward free however quarter time comes and we are down by three points scores being two to five in a very low scoring affair but probably the best quarter of footy the pressure was immaculate we never gave up and we just kept on pushing right through to the quarter time right to the break so considering we're getting smashed by 60 to 80 points sometimes even 100 every week being down by three points a quarter time is a win and i started off the second quarter on the bench very good bench warmer i am and then getting Fletcher off to take his position at the forward flank. I have not played forward since I've actually played for South Bendigo. So that was 2020 or 2019 since I last played the forward role. So a bit new, as you can see here, I'm running streaming through the guts, streaming through into the forward 50. I'm trying to lose my man there. I'm out the back, sort of free, but the ball's kicked in the opposite direction. And just trying to push hard to keep this one in play, but it trickles over the boundary line. So we'll get a stoppage, we'll get a throw in, get a mark here. And I'm pretty sure there was supposed to be a free kick paid. I wasn't sure if it was going to be downfield or not, but Tommy Rutledge plays for the state team. So I've handed the ball to him and well, just a pretty shocking decision. I probably should have thought this one through. And this is a bit, this is pissing me off a bit because look how open I am in this 50. There's not a player within 20 meters of me and they just couldn't see me down there. I just couldn't get it. And then here, talking with the old teammates. Not sure who that one is on the left, unfortunately. But we had a good chat, a bit of banter. And calling for the ball, but Baz holds it up. 
before it comes to half time. So only a point scored in that second quarter for us. However, still only down by two goals. So we'll take it. And starting off the third quarter on the bench again. Last time I'll be on the bench all game. I switch on for, well, Tommy Rutledge. I was just about to go into, I'm pretty sure, the forward flank. But I'm into the guts now for Tommy Rutledge come off with a blood rule. So into the guts I go. I haven't played guts since 2020 in South Days as well. So Nicky just couldn't get the correct purchase on this kick. But this second effort is incredible from Nicky to score our first goal. He's ran too far. Nicky has, well, ran after his coughed up kick. And then he absolutely sinks it for the first goal of the game for Kitan, for us. We all get around him. Number eight, you can see, running towards him. We need to get around him. The goals aren't scored that much in our team. So everything is valuable. Get around Nicky as he's just kicking an absolute ripper. Coughing up his second effort. Just running back to get the ball. He never gave up there. Brilliant goal to start it off. And here just couldn't get the tackle. Couldn't stick it. Lost a bit of my foot placement there. Then here I'm pretty sure I got a cheeky handball out the back as well. Went to ground. One thing I really need to learn is just to stop going to ground as much. But what can you do? Comes out the back here. Pretty sure it's another rushed through behind from Moose. So yet again, another kick in. I'm pretty sure this is like nearly 11 behinds for the game now for the opponent. So I would have taken about eight, maybe nine of them considering I was on the bench for some time. And I look out, I just realised I only went to the side of the camera once, and that was just a sloppy kick. That certainly was not 15 metres, but it was pay to mark. Then here, once again, Mitchie Reese is just an absolute jet. Look at him stream through. He is within, he's 10 metres away from me, and that is my man, 10 metres away from me. That is just, yeah, a coughed up effort. That is not great. As Mitchie Reese gets away and finds his free player, Loose on the run, and he goes back, not to uh, kick the goal, but there was a clearance and then a goal afterwards, unfortunately. But here we go, highlight of the day, get the interception, streams through the pack, the back flank, and misses. First opportunity of goal I've had in a year and a half. Bloody hell, nearly kicked a goal from the back flank. That would have, that would have felt so good to stream and celebrate in the run but unfortunately just couldn't get it done now that was a big moment but the confidence definitely lifted after that me trying to get the shepherd there on Mitchie Reese but it's a bloody good hard working man Mitchie Reese so yeah hard to um hard to uh keep up with him and here he is me and him on the boundary tried to take him over but he had a little bit of a fumble but just kept it in and three quarter time comes and we are down 2 5 17 to 4 12 36 so 12 behinds for the opponent but in this huddle pretty much just saying it's the last opportunity we have the last 20 minutes of the year what can we do really what can we bring there's nothing to be afraid of we can just go full hard at the footy there's nothing to worry about next week the last 20 minutes of footy is being played now so the fourth quarter gets underway i'm up against aaron which is a mate who i used to go to school with back in 2019 back in year seven so i know him as well played footy with him nearly got the smother on my old teammate and good mate Cade. then got the tackle on Aaron it was a bit of a dodgy one I'm pretty sure I held on to him a little bit too long after yeah after he got the disposal but another behind scored for South Bendigo which means another bloody kick out and it was a fan favorite to go to that side today and I'm pretty sure all the big bands were calling it for it up that end of the ground so I had to go up there and then more just chit and chatter with um the old opponent and just sort of asking where the hell our players are because they've got three out the back and everyone else is just sucked into the contest here and Zave, big man, bloody hell, it's hard to hard to cl cl uh, cling your hands onto him and he snaps one around the body and as you can see, certainly not um, yeah, too great of a reaction, certainly wasn't happening it there and ball got booted towards the goals, I was able to rush back in time and just get a fingertip on it before it um, he crossed over the line and nearly had a slip up there as well on the concrete behind the goals. But here comes another kick out. I'm not sure how many that is for the day, but certainly a few cheap disposals, which it's certainly going to take. So I booted down 
to everyone calling it and everyone from the other side in there is getting pissed off because they didn't kick it that way and they kick another. They've just kicked away in this last term and certainly not happy but there's really not much you can do about it. Just make sure you're playing your role. And there's just free plays out the back and here is Mitchie Reese getting the ball and a really good shepherd from his teammate there to cut me off from the tackle and I'm pretty sure they go back for another goal here. Me there, they say that they're going to go for the opposite foot. So he goes the opposite foot and I'm thinking surely he can't kick this. It's a bit of a piss take. Getting ready to take the kick out but he's taking the piss out of us immensely and he's kicked it with the opposite foot and here they stream it away and they've kicked another goal so really just curtains here just not our day of footy and sort of just sums up the year and coming up here we go Mitchy Reese is going to be loving this one on the vlog me and him the two best mates battling it out and as you can see there he wrap, wraps me up in a very clean tackle I'm not sure if you can see it I've been trying to practice the Ginevan slipping the shoulder high as we watch the slow motion replay I sort of try to slip the shoulder but it was just a really nice bloody wrap up tackle and full time comes and unfortunately we are defeated by 39 points at the end of the day unlucky for us handshaking all the old boys anyway that's going to do it for today's video if you guys did enjoy make sure to leave a like and subscribe obviously there'll be a new group of boys i'll be playing with next year so stay tuned we might get some vlogs up and running for next season as well